So here's an interior abdominal wall. It's very similar to the four quadrants uh, with the added epigastric, umbilical, and hypogastric region. To begin, you scan in the epigastric region, transverse, you get tip of the left lobe of the liver. Here's your antrum of the stomach me uh, meeting the pylorus with some gas. In this, in this area, you'll also find uh, the pancreas. And in sagittal, again, you have the tip of the left lobe of the liver, um, antrum of the stomach, a lot of, uh, a lot of gas. In this area, you're not going to find an intussusception, though uh, a very, very severe intussusception can go all the way through to the transverse colon, but that's, that's not common. Okay, then we move on to the right upper quadrant, transverse. You have your, your liver, right kidney. This is a good view to get to rule out free fluid in Morrison's pouch. You also have diaphragm and your gallbladder. You rule out some stones and sagittal. Again, Morrison's pouch, a good place to rule out free fluid. If you're doing a four quadrant scan or a fast scan for to rule out free fluid in a trauma, you would want to make sure you include the tip of the of the right lobe of the liver because sometimes fluid accumulates there. You also have your sagittal gallbladder. You can rule out gallstones in this view, and the right lumbar region. That's where. Uh, you know, the lower pole of the right kidney is going to be. Um, a lot of intussusception you will find in this area here, sometimes a little lower. Uh, once you finish the right upper quadrant, you want to do some guided compression along the ascending colon down to the right iliac fossa, where you uh, typically find the appendix. Sometimes you might see uh, an intussusception down there. So here's a transverse view. You got your iliac artery. Luckily, in this patient, the, the appendix was very easily visualized. It's normal. Anterior abdominal uh, wall muscle, your rectus abdominis, uh, psoas muscle right here. And turn sagittal, and you have your ascending colon right here, psoas muscle, posterior to it, abdominis rectus right here. More inferiorly, in this patient, you will find the appendix. Then you go into the hypogastric region, you have your bladder. Uh, this is a good view to, to rule out free fluid posterior to the bladder. If you have a ruptured appendix or a ruptured ovarian cyst, you can have free fluid there. You can also have physiological free fluid there. Um, you can also see if there's a lot of stool in the rectum, as is the case with this patient. And sagittal, same thing, bladder and longitudinal. And here you can see the colon filled with air and feces. Then we move along to the left lower quadrant and transverse you're going to find psoas muscle um, some you will also find uh, small bowel and descending colon same thing you're going to have small bowel loops with flu you know fluid filled small bowel, bowel loops sometimes you'll have the descending colon uh, you know depending if the patient has diarrhea it might be fluid filled if not it, you might just have a lot of gas and air and might not be able to visualize any of the structures um, an intussusception will not be here, at least an ileocolic one. Here you can have a small bowel intussusception, which is a transient process. It usually goes away by itself. You wait 15 minutes. Onto the, onto the lumbar and left upper quadrant regions, here you can see a, a descending colon filled with air, causing uh, some shadowing. In this section, you're also going to see spleen, stomach, left kidney. Sagittal, you're going to have some, you're going to see bowel, you can see descending colon. This is a fluid-filled stomach. Um, sometimes you'll see that. That's usually not the case. Sometimes you're just going to have air in the stomach. You'll get the spleen and left kidney. Uh, it's a good place to check for free fluid, too, at the tip of the spleen or in between the spleen and the, the left kidney. After that, we go to the umbilical region. Here, you're going to have some small bowel. You see a little piece of the kidney here, small bowel. Then in sagittal, again, you'll have some small bowel. You can see the, the vertebra the vertebral bodies right here in sagittal. And that's pretty much your protocol for an abdomen limited or an abdomen for intussusception. You can use this for appendix ultrasound as well, just focusing um, your scan on the right side of the body, including the pelvis. Um, you can do this for a fast scan where you're looking for free fluid in a trauma patient, uh, an abdominal limited. So I hope this helps out. See you later.